Costa Rica today! I've got a great day. He's trying on some hats. And the fruit just looks so, so good. How is it? Hello, my loves. Welcome back to a new video. How are we all doing? I'm going to Costa Rica today. <laughs> it's travel day. I don't know if you guys can hear me. It is torrential, like the worst driving weather and just worst weather in general. Like, get me on that plane. It's horrible. I don't know how you're driving. So, I mean, you're a great driver. That's why Jamie's driving me to the airport. Hello. Um, yeah, and I feel like my thick tan hasn't washed off, so it's probably gonna keep developing throughout this vlog. But freshly baked tan, blow dry done. I like to feel quite fresh for the flight, and then my hair hopefully will last the week now, so fingers crossed. But heading to Costa Rica with Bronte. She's actually got a Gals Who trip happening while we're out there, so we're gonna be like popping in and out of that, which is super, super fun. And I actually don't really know what we're gonna be doing, but I thought I would take you guys along for a travel day and then share vlogs maybe throughout the trip in like different parts. So I'm very, very excited, but come to the airport with me. We're going to Gatwick and we're flying direct. They now do a direct flight, which I think is around 12 hours. So I'll take you guys along for the journey. Hey guys. Hey. I had a little nap when you were in the Did you? <laughs> guys, I can't really talk, but we got upgraded, but can't. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film because I'm a bit nervous. I don't really want to get my camera in people's faces, but it's insane. It's insane. I'll put some titles. Search for the day. Yeah. Um, top tips in. Yeah, we didn't. I don't think I picked up the camera from the plane. We basically had a nap. Um, then I watched some of the gentlemen on Netflix, and then we had our second meal, which again I didn't film because I was. It was like the 11 hour mark, and I was feeling a little bit like, whoa, I'm tired, because um, I couldn't really fully nap. But wow, that experience was like out of this world. It was so cool being able to lay flat, and I can't believe like we're so lucky and so grateful for that. So. Basically, we got to the desk and they completely changed our flight. So originally we had like a 70 pound upgrade to premium that we did on the app. Like it literally said like a last minute thing and then went up to the um, the check-in and they were like, we've changed our flight. There's no premium on this flight anymore. So would you like an upgrade? And we were like, well, like how much is that? So we went for it basically, didn't we? Yeah, it was, we did. We oh did. God, it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, so that was one of the most surreal experiences ever and 
yeah, madness. Anyway, we arrived. We have left our bags. Obviously, we've slept. Well, kind of. Um, on and off. But we have just come out for breakfast really early at 7am. They're not even open yet. So we're just waiting outside. But it's called Franco. And it looks unbelievable. And also, it just didn't hit me that we're somewhere that does amazing coffee. Like, I... Like they grow obviously all their own coffee beans. This place in particular, they've just said they do house-made almond milk. So I'm so excited to experience this. I think they do like bowls, French toast, um, brunches, all the traditional kind of dishes. And then I'll let you guys know basically what it's like. But um, I think we have one minute. So I'll show you guys in a second. Guys, we're in. This is the outside bit. How really nice. cute. Yeah, I feel like we're in little Uluwatu. It's starting to feel warmer. They've got little um, bird houses there. I wonder what it says. Let's see what it says. It says. Oh no. I think it's for dragonflies. Or wasps. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Wow. Guys, our coffee and Bronte's match are just arrived. That's house made almond milk. Really? That tastes like almonds. <gasps> I'll have to try it. Wow. It's very nice almond milk. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Amazing. Wow. Thank you. Oh, my God. This looks insane. Oh, my God. Wow. You know that coffee? I'm going to have, like, ten. Wow. That is incredible. How can you taste almond milk? Like Mine is like natural honey at the bottom, so at the moment that's kind of all I can taste, but it just tastes so good. So good. This is breakfast. We have the chia pudding, which, can you remember what it had involved? Oh, oh yes, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Can I just realized some more water? Sure. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I just realized what? I just realized I used my straw for my coffee, my bad. Um, but yeah, we've got loads of fruit and then it's, I don't know, blueberry something? I don't know. Mm, how's the smooth? So good. Mm, yum. Oh, thank you so much. Good so morning, nice. guys. Had breakfast. Delicious. St like, honestly, some of the best breakfast I've ever had in my life. Yeah, same. Like the first place we've gone, <laughs> where it's been like. Yeah, but, <laughs> but like we just needed that, you know? Yeah. You know, when you're like a bit jet lag, a bit disorientated, it was just so good to have a good, solid So breakfast. good. Solid also, day. homemade. A lot of it. Like homemade chia, had bee pollen, uh, turmeric. Matcha. And matcha, cacao, cacao so good for us. Spirulina. Um, spirulina. What was in our green smoothie? Some good stuff. Oh, like celery, broccoli, mm. kale. Lovely, lovely. And now we're walking the streets. This is the views. Lovely. And we're actually getting our bags. We've got another hotel we've got to check out. So we're going to stay there for two nights. And then we're doing a walking tour at 1pm. Which is very exciting. It's a free walking tour, guys. It's a free one. So... Yeah, would you get your guide? Um, no, with um, San Jose free walking tour.com. Lovely. I'll link that down below for you guys. Also, I'm going to do the travel day and then the days in San Jose in this vlog, and then we'll start a new vlog and we go to each new place. So, my loves, anyone coming on the Girls Who trip, this is where you stay. This beautiful pink little hotel. It's honestly massive inside, isn't it? It goes on and on. It goes on and on. Yeah. So, we're staying here. It's the Hotel Fleur de Lis. And the rooms are like really basic, but you've got like fan, shrimp, or shrimp all that jazz. Good for it because it's good only to... one night at the start. Yeah, so it's a really nice little stopover and it means you get to experience like San Jose in like a walking distance to like all the coffee shops and everything. And also, it's right next to the museum. So, I think the museum's just up there on the left. No, this way, I think, or maybe I'm wrong. We've come to the Artisan Market. Walking market, oh, the hummingbirds, the, um, the and these are all market. little handmade That's pieces. So cool. Hummingbird, I really would love to see a hummingbird in real life one day. Maybe this trip, apparently, they're quite this um, is scary. Oh, lovely! Much as first, yeah, the anklet. <gasps> oh, amazing! So lovely. Much as first, yes. So, so nice. Oh my god, look at that little dress with the kitty yeah, wings, guys. There's sloths everywhere, it's like my dream. My dream. Oh. How cute are the little bags? Ooh. Oh, they're so sweet. Um, Bee's trying on some hats. Always. Let's see. Like I like the colour of that. I do, but it's just, the, the shape's just not No, quite, you need like a bit of a bigger I shape. Yes. Are they, I they're all a bit, a bit yeah, really cute. I feel like you need like a little bit bigger. Oh my God, oh, there's a neck pillow soft. Bronte, <laughs> look. Yeah. 
That is so fun. Caps are a little bit flat. Yeah. We're not sure, but I'm I not do. Sure. I, thought you I need more of like a structure. Yeah. Kind of cute though. Very specific with my hat. Yes. Small head. Small, small head they're giving. Oh, like the brown. Stop. <gasps> the turquoise would match your toenails. No. Oh, it's going to match my toenails. That's cute. <gasps> the perps. Yeah, let's try the perps. I was trying on every cap in the Costa Rica market. Yeah. Really Just making our way around. Oh, I don't know if I can reach it. Oh no, I'm too small, B. Save ya. Save ya. Thank you, oh. Angel. Oh, wow. Yellow and pups. One love. I'm going to turn and one love. And a one love. One love is one love. Once when I was in. Um, oh, these are better shape. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hola! Hola. Hola. How are you? Fine. Yeah, trying on your hats. No worry, I have a mirror. Oh, do you? We're looking using <laughs> our cameras. <laughs> I, I love this. Yeah. Oh, India! Uh, so fun. Oh, thank you. Love this. Very cool. I don't it, know about the purple on me. I really like the purple on you. Do you? Special cake, special colour. Very fun. Guys, we've come to Libertano. I, although it's saying this. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave, but it's called Libertado on Google Maps, so I will leave you guys a little like name on the screen or something, but it's beautiful in here. I love the like lights and all the green. How stunning. Oh, I could kind of do something. Yeah, so I'm hungry. Pokeball. Our body like clock is out of whack. Yeah, it's like dinner time again. They do chicken bowls, pork bowls, um, protein bowls. Waffles, toasties, granola eggs. This is lovely. We've just come into this really cute little um, jewelry store. Oh my god! It says eleven eleven, and it's called Luna La Luna. Um, and it's beautiful. Wow. That's so sweet. But we've got matching rings, guys. So Our Costa Rica cute. rings. <laughs> I love this one. Yeah, I love that. So cool. It's really beautiful in here. Like really stunning. And you've got all the little coffee cups. Oh, look at the sides. Oh my god, look. The little daisies. Oh, that's so sweet. So, so lovely. lovely. Yeah, really beautiful. And it's all sea and sweat proof, which is quite fun. We're just killing time before our walking tour. <gasps> I like these. Like a little. Beep. Yeah, I love that. Look at these It is. Really sweet. So cool. Box. I just love all the little. Yeah, I wish I oh had all the piercings that I could put them in. Yes, yeah, so I get really scared putting them in. Right. And um, like, I get, I get a bit icky about taking really them out. That looks stunning. Oh my god, that would look amazing. Look at that. Oh, I would love that see. in. That's what I mean. I need to get a bit more like adventurous, adventurous oh, of it. A little flower. Oh, so cute. That's so sweet. So guys, we have come back yeah. to the um, cafe because everywhere wasn't serving lunch till like 12.30, which is so fair enough that we've got to get to the walking tour. So we wanted to quickly grab a bite to eat. So we're back at Liberty. Tano coffee roasters yeah, and we've got a chicken soup. bowl and guys they've tailored it to me they put my sauce on the side they've taken out the onion and garlic and it's like rice chicken avocado salad tomato and sweet corn mm. looks delicious it looks so good yeah and you've got the little caribbean sauce in but this place is stunning okay all right guys we have checked into our next little spot which is Balamoral Hotel just so we can test it out for some trip stuff that Bronte's doing for work but we have just come to get sun cream on and our hats because we're going on the walking tour and guys I'm burning like so much because it's so hot we were just being told by one of the gentlemen here like the guy that works here saying that this is the hottest they have ever experienced their summer we're here in peak like summer aren't we B? like the hottest they've ever had. yeah the hottest they've ever had it they're saying that Santa Teresa is 40 degrees that's gonna be which is, I mean, thank God we've got the sea there. We're going to need to be dunking and dabbing. And this breeze right now is lovely. But um, yeah, I am getting a little bit pink. And so we've come to get shirts and basically cover up a little bit. Don't know why I'm in black when it's 32 degrees out there. But we've got hydration. Maybe going to grab an ice cream on the way. And I think the tour all in all is two hours. And I think you stop and like learn different things around about the city. Because a lot of the activities around here, we're realising you kind of have to go quite far out. So we actually booked something for tomorrow, which you guys will see. And we're going to try and like create a little guide for each place we go to. So my guide will be down below anyway. And all my recommendations for each place per video that I do. And then if there's any questions, then do, of course, just always let me know. But um, we are ready, ready to go on our adventure. Guys, we're on our little tour, our walking tour. We're in the little park. They used to sit on those little benches over there. 
and then the women used to walk around and date them, like go to that Tinder date. We're heading south this way. Right, we're heading south, guys. But this is the they're setting up for a festival this weekend in the city. So it's, it's really interesting. And this used to be, did she say a lake? What did this used to be? Not a lake, a, a lagoon. A lagoon, and then they buried it all with stone because they didn't want a forest. It's all very interesting. Very interesting. Guys, we're on our walking tour still. We've just come for fresh coconuts, and the, sand and the fruit just looks so, so good. And these are the freshest, like ice cold, delicious, like very good. And we're learning quite a lot. We learned about um, the south and the north, and how the first female feminist that came over was actually from the UK. Big up. And years and created like a lot of change it sounds like within the community yeah. um, but it's a really cool tour so it's free and then at the end you can add a tip and pay for what you feel like it was worth I think Is that, yeah that's the kind of vibe so really nice yeah she's so lovely so nice anyway having the best day <laughs> oh, I'm still on the walking tour we're now going into the north guys so this is a new little area such a cool way of like seeing the city like all of it and like all the buildings and there's so much interesting stuff about Costa Rica that I just never thought was a thing so definitely highly recommend doing this if you ever come um, I don't know I just feel like it's really beautiful seeing all the architecture and then hearing a little bit more about the history in this way so sorry it's so dark um, it's just beautiful sunshine. It's about 2.30 now. And I think we have like 20 minutes left of the tour. And then we're gonna get a little ice cream or famous ice cream. I think that's the plan. We have come to try the famous sorbet, sorbetta. It's in the central market. And this is the little spot. How is it? Interesting. Interesting. Love it. Hello my loves. It is the next day. We are just leaving the room take the key card out and um, we are heading on our coffee tour. I haven't actually picked up the camera this morning because we've been with the girls and been meeting some of them before. There's six more girls to arrive for this evening and it's just been like soaking up basically. But dinner last night at Calais at 33 was really cool. It's like a shelter hall Brighton kind of vibe, like hub of all the food spots. There's lots of options. We ended up going for burgers, which I felt they were so fresh. Yeah, really good burgers. Really good, really fresh, really like lovely. Grilled chicken rather than like fried. Yeah. And and there was a moment where they were like, we don't do that, but they the menu is huge. And there's no yeah. de guacamole. Yeah, just in case. Just Get in that case. translator out if you don't speak Spanish. Wish we spoke Spanish, really do. Yeah, I know. Um, but anyway, we're heading on this tour. So they do airport airport pickups, hotel pickups, or a like you can get yourself there and then when you're there you can do the entry. But I have no idea what to expect. I've booked it with like Bronte's basically this is my booking. Yeah, this is India's tour. <laughs> this is me being like Bronte, I really want to know more about coffee here. So we shall see. I'll take you guys along basically for the ride. We've arrived at Brit Coffee. Lovely pickup. Arrive um literally bang on the time that they said. Yeah. Usually you end up waiting for a little bit. Yeah. Oh much as gracias. I need a moment, please. Oh, of course. Of course, of course. Anyway, we're here. It looks lovely. No, he's not. Max is an angel. Oh look, they've got a little cafe. This place is beautiful. We're just heading to the loo. <laughs> so guys, we've got a bit of time. We've got about 15 minutes to kill before the coffee tour. Um, so we just went into the little cafe and bought some chocolate pineapple. So like dark chocolate and pineapple. And I'm very, very intrigued to know. Also guys, we went to buy San Pellegrino and it was $8 and I thought, Absolutely. not today. Can't spend $8 on a San Pellegrino. Anyway, I like little chocolate balls. Oh, oh my god. They're good. Yeah. You know, like poppets, but not. Mm -hmm. mm. That's like pineapple, dark chocolate poppets. And they look like little poppets as well. Oh my god, I'm dropping it out of my mouth. It's gone. It's gone. Delicious. There we are. I know, I feel like we're on a ranch. This ain't Texas. About me. We go to find more. <gasps> we're going into the bean area. 
Oh, these are the faces that scare off the, um, that we were being told about yesterday, that scare off the parliament and the baddies. Wow, this place is beautiful. The nursery. Over here, I'm going to tell you how to grow coffee, of course. But first, I have to introduce you. Remember, this is going to help us avoid evaporation and is going to allow us to keep it protected from the, well, from the dried soil. Right, we're trying one out. Tiny little squelchy squelch. Yeah. Wow, also look at the bananas there. Fresh oh ones, eh? Freshy fresh. Hmm. Oh, that does get really smooth. Yeah. We're back in the room. We had a good time at the coffee place. I will say that the, the end moment, it, the coffee hit us a bit wrong. Guys, we were having the tiniest sips, like minuscule sips I was having. And we looked at each other and we were like, we're in the Truman Show. Like we yeah. felt like we were in delirious, delir delirious coffee hot. land. I think it was the heat and the coffee and we hadn't had lunch because it was like bang on lunch time. But anyway, we just refueled. I'm not gonna lie, Chad off our Taco Bell. <laughs> it was so random. Because we were like, we need something quick. We're in bang in the center where we are. What is that bang? <laughs> like bang in the center. Oh my God, is it if you put it under the air con? <gasps> is your stuff soaking? Yeah. No. It's dripping. No. And there's hangers, hang it. Hang we'll hang it in the wardrobe, it will dry. Um, anyway, yeah, we just had to, we needed, you know, when you're like low blood sugar moment, you kind of need just a little jig. We actually had some tortillas and some guac and then a chicken quesadilla. No, which, like you know. Chicken wrap. Yeah, like. With crisps inside. Yeah, with crisps inside. I'm going to do that at home one day. Absolutely. Such a shout. Anyway, a shout. we're back to the room. We've got to kind of pack a little bit and then get ready for dinner because tonight is when all the girls arrive for the girls who trip because tonight is the night when it begins, which is so exciting. So, yeah, we're just basically packing, sorting, refreshing, showering. So I'll see you guys when we're dressed and ready to head out for dinner. I don't know where we're going. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's Carbo or something, but... Um, Manu is the guide that's doing the girls who travel trip here out in Costa Rica for the, is it nine days really, the trip? Yeah, nine it's days. It's about nine days and me and B are doing like parts of it as well. So it's yeah, very exciting. I'm excited to be here with the guys and do the trip and all the girls are so lovely. So yeah, anyway, I will see you guys at dinner. Are you guys ready for dinner? We're in pink and yellow. Instead by hair. Oh, there you go, the braids. Love it, it's ready to go. It's 18 degrees in here. We don't like lifts, guys. We don't like lifts. Good morning, guys. I'm looking sloopy today. Um, it is day three in Costa Rica. And again, don't think I filmed last night. Wow. It was quite hard, wasn't it? Yeah. When you're I, with those people. When you're with 20 girls and you're all just trying to soak up being in the moment with them, I always feel a little bit like I don't really want to pick up the camera. So yeah, I didn't pick up the camera, but we went to a restaurant called Cafe 33 or like Cafe Mundo 33, Mundo. which was actually on our walking tour, which we passed, which was a little bit like out, which was near a cafe called Something Nana, which is really annoying. I'm not going to remember, but she recommended it as like a traditional restaurant to go to. But um, I will try and locate it and put it in my guide or something down below. But lovely evening meeting the girls like properly and like properly learning about them and their lives and then today the girls have headed off to the homestay which is part of their trip and then me and Bronte are going to La Fortuna a day early because we're basically gonna create more content and more experiences and experience ourselves things that can be added on when the girls are out here so if you're coming on the girls who travel trip there's like certain like kind of free time would you say like to basically yeah. do activities like optional the soft trail like optional activities there's so you can... much to do yeah that we're like we don't know what everyone wants to do so we kind of put in like the best activities that we think and then yeah. everyone can choose what they want to do in the free time yeah so basically soft trail we're doing today and then the zip lining and the hot springs but that kind of like combines with being with the girls as well yeah. so it will be just a day without them and then we'll be joining back on the trip and then we're yeah we've got zip lining 
tomorrow. 500 meters in the air. In the I don't want to know how long that is. Is that quite long? That's quite high, babes. Well, you do a 400 meter sprint and that's round a running track. So you can imagine in the air. Yeah, that's why I, I think I'm like. We're going to be fine. We'll be adrenaline pumped. We'll be so proud of ourselves. We're going to crash. Guys, after. you know on Go 8. Did you get scared on Go 8? Go 8, I, I mean, I was hungover. This was years ago, and I did. My whole body was trembling the whole time. I did not stop trembling. I can do stuff, but I will be trembling. Get me trembling. I'll be trembling too. Yeah, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. As long as I feel safe in my harness. I'm... Yeah, same. Double check. Yeah. Green, boys. We've got the green smoothies yeah, at Franco. All the nutrients, all the nutrients before our drive to La Fortuna. Because Brecky's arrived. That was the fastest mm. five minutes, which is so nice. Oh my God, that was so fast. Yeah. We literally ordered two minutes ago. I guess this is overnight, isn't it? So they prepare yeah, it. Yeah, overnight. overnight and then the scramble, just whip it up. Um, I always get the chia, it seems, and then the scramble, because safe bet. How was it today? Ask for coffee? Yeah, and a matcha. They're on their way, I think. I, that I was that bell. Maybe I forgot we ordered. I think that, that was that ping. Um, oh my God. <laughs> so good. And I'm going to get a coffee for, from across the road before we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Anyway, delicious, delicious, delicious. I absolutely love it here. Um, guys, we're in our transfer from San Jose to La Fortuna and we booked it online and it's a private one, but it's we've got a minivan. I've accidentally um, booked as a whole minivan. It's Mercedes. It was really, it was really not that. I booked by a book away, by the way. Book away. Book away. It was through book away. And they, like, they WhatsApp me, it was so easy. Yeah, it's all, a lot of the stuff here, like Bali and like, where else? Um, there's a few other places, Thailand, Bali. Here, do the Philippines do WhatsApp now as well? Yeah. Yeah, it's all kind of WhatsApp based, so you end up just chatting to people via there, which actually makes it a little bit straightforward. Um, but anyway, I am going to end this video here because I'm going to start a new one in each place that we go. So we're going to La Fortuna next, and I'm very excited, guys. We're going to be seeing sloths today, hopefully, fingers crossed. So, yeah, anyway, I will take you guys along and see you in the next video. I will leave all my city, like San Jose, recommendations down below. Any questions about the girls who travel trip, anything like that, then let me know. And I'll leave all the details for those trips down below as well. Honestly, the way that they are organised, the way they are run, the fact that you can kind of go away and feel safe with a group of girls and meet new people with, like, lots of similar interests and wanting that, like, kind of drive to travel but also experience new cultures and places it's just really inspiring and eye-opening and so lovely so yeah i really recommend it if you I have seen. been <laughs> i was just in the background like <laughs> <laughs> me just picking it up picking it up i am a big fan as you guys can probably tell me just joining every trip that you've got i'm not i'm coming i'm yeah. booking on um so yeah anyway it's so much fun and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for being here and watching it bye see you soon